Hello everyone and welcome to CWL Builds. I'm Caleb and today we're going to be making a custom bone crown. The first thing I do is I draw out a very rough outline of how I want the crown to look and then I'll add the dimensions to this as well. So first I'm going to start by building the armature for the crown. And this is basically a wire skeleton and I'm going to be using this 15 gauge wire for the main portion of the crown that wraps around my head. After twisting the wire around itself, I turn it into a circle, and this circle is a few inches bigger than my head because I know I'm going to be adding the aluminum foil as well as the clay, so I need to make it a little bit bigger at first. Using that same 15 gauge wire, I'm going to be making the spikes that go on the front of the crown. I'll be using this 28 gauge wire to attach the two crown portions as well as attaching the spikes onto the front of the crown.
using aluminum foil here to bulk out the crown as much as possible so that I don't have to use as much clay later because the more clay I use, the heavier the crown will be. So I'll be using this polymer clay, it's an oven bake clay, and the first step you need to do is you need to knead it together and work it together because the original block it comes in is pretty hard to work with. So the next step is to roll it flat using your favorite rolling pin, in my case a can of spray adhesive, and you're going to roll them into nice little flat chunks. Now you may be wondering to yourself why isn't he using white clay when the final product is going to be white. And that is because white is a very hard color to film. It tends to get overexposed and it's hard to see the detail. So I'm using brown here just so I can film it without it being overexposed. So this is before you bake the clay, and this is after you bake the clay. I use my Dremel tool with a sanding drum to add the detail onto the crown. In this case, this detail is kind of like a hammered metal effect. I thought it looked cool, and this is the fastest way that I found of getting that texture. Now this stuff, this clay, after you bake it, you can carve it with a knife. And that's what I did at first. It just was taking a while. So if you don't have a Dremel tool with a sanding drum, you can carve this by hand. Now this process kicks up a lot of dust. So make sure you're wearing a dust mask or respirator and eye protection. I had to add this strip of EVA foam in the back because I made the crown a little bit too big for my head and it was sliding down my face.
And just a warning, the first two paints I used, the primer and that bone color, seem to have a bad reaction with the clay and made a sticky layer over the entire thing. But once I added a few coats of this clear coat, it went back to totally being not sticky. I then cover the entire crown in a really thin mixture of brown acrylic paint, green acrylic paint, and a little bit of yellow acrylic paint mixed with isopropyl alcohol. One more layer of clear coat and the crown is ready. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. If you like this video, consider giving it a like, consider subscribing, check out the other videos on my channel, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.